Hello, my name is Kevin Johnson, and I'm the chief engineer for the electrical calibration product line here at Fluke. You know, the 5560A multi-product calibrator project was a, was a huge effort and a huge engineering challenge. One of the primary goals of the 5560A project was to replace the 5522A and 5502 multi-product calibrators. And if that's all that we tried to accomplish with this project, that would have been challenge enough. I can't tell you how many times during the course of this project, when we were faced with technical difficulties or obstacles to overcome, that I walked away shaking my head at the audacity of the people that came before us. As the saying goes, we truly stand on the shoulders of giants. Just geek out with me for a minute here. Imagine that you wanted to provide a voltage source for customers needing to measure voltage. A voltage source that would go from a few millivolts to over a thousand volts, over a million to one range, with parts per million accuracy, and have that all in one box. And not just DC volts, but those customers also need to measure AC volts, so we'll make that also an AC voltage source in the same box. Those same customers actually also need to measure current, many of them. So we'll do a current source as well. A current source capable of going from a few microamps to 20 amps, another million to one range, with parts per million accuracy, both DC and AC. And we'll put that current source in the same box. Well, some customers also need to measure power. Well, we have a voltage source and a current source. Let's let them operate at the same time with a accurate phase difference between them so that we can now simulate power for those customers. Some of the customers that need to measure voltage and current also need to measure resistance. So let's create a resistance source capable of going from a few milliohms to over a gigohm, a hundred billion to one range with parts per million accuracy. And let's not just present the customer with a few fixed values, but let's let them enter in any resistance they want in that range by creating a simulated resistance source covering that range. And let's take that resistance source and put it in the same box. Some customers also need to measure capacitance. So let's create a capacitance source able to go from a few picofarads to hundreds of millifarads, another billion to one range with great accuracy. Let's also let customers be able to dial in any value they want for the capacitance source. And let's put that capacitance source in the same box. So some of our customers also need to measure temperature through thermocouples. Let's create the ability to simulate thermocouples so that we can calibrate those meters. The same customers also probably need to calibrate the actual thermocouples. So let's also measure thermocouples. So let's create a thermocouple source and measurement solution. And let's put that in the same box. So now we have a world-class DC and low frequency electrical calibrator that can calibrate a wide class of electrical measurement devices. But some of our customers actually have some high frequency needs as well. They need to calibrate oscilloscopes. Let's create an option for this box that has a RF source that goes up to over a gigahertz, a fast edge, marker functions, and everything you need to calibrate an oscilloscope. And let's put this RF source in the same box. So now we come to the 5560A project. And like I said, if all we did was try to replace all this functionality and all these accuracies and all of this capability in the same box, that would have been challenging enough. But of course, that's not all that we did. We wanted to increase the workload that our customers could address with the 5560A. One of the primary ways of doing this was to increase the accuracy across the board for all functions. To truly be able to cover a six and a half digit multimeter, for instance. And in some cases that required us to increase our accuracies by a factor of 10 or more. This was a great challenge, especially considering that we wanted to keep it in the same size box, the same weight. We also wanted to increase our customers' workload capability by increasing the current source capability from 20 amps to 30 amps. And we wanted to increase their productivity, not only through significantly improving the settling times of every function, but also by allowing that 30 amp current source to source continuously 
rather than duty cycles. This was a, a huge innovation. We had to go to a class D switching amplifier topology, which has never been tried before in a calibrator. We also wanted to increase our customers' workload capability through uh, extending the frequency range. Our accurate frequency range is extended down to three hertz, even at high voltage, where we had to actually implement a direct high voltage amplifier rather than using transformers. This was a great technical challenge. And then on the other end, for the scope option, we're not settling for the 1.1 gigahertz, we're going up to 2.1 gigahertz. We also found that some customers wanted to measure inductance. So we created an inductive source similar to our capacitance source for those customers. Then we wanted to improve the customer's experience. So we implemented the visual connection management system, light rings, now in two colors. So you can easily see where you need to connect for voltage and where you need to connect for current, for instance. We also improved the customer's experience by totally utilizing the wide touchscreen display in the 5560A and recreated the whole user interface to be far more intuitive and easy to use. Our firmware team created a new software architecture from the ground up that can be leveraged not only to other electrical calibrators, but to any big box test equipment for Fluke in the future. So of course, the, the new innovations weren't just limited to the engineering team. The wider ranges and the and the uh, in improved accuracies required innovations in metrology and production test as well. And they were with us every step of the way. The metrology department had to do research in the new ways of making measurements. We made huge innovations in production test with a test station that could not only improve our coverage of the range of operation of the 5560A, but also do it with less equipment so that we can quickly add more capacity as we ramp up and have increased sales. So we believe all the improved performance and technical innovations that went into the 5560A have created a new class of multi-product calibrator. One that has a performance position that is unassailable. I'll have to admit that when we had technical setbacks and obstacles to overcome that even delayed the project. I had a perverse pleasure in knowing that each one of those things that we overcame created a greater value to our customer. And so I hope that when future generations of calibration engineers look back at what we are able to accomplish today, that what they will say is how audacious they were. <laughs>